thermal section started its journey in the 1960s as different laboratories for research and teaching in heat transfer, refrigeration, combustion, IC engines and turbo machines. These laboratories were housed in three buildings. With time, newer areas got added to the research. This brought faculty members to work closely with each other across laboratories, paving the way for the present-day thermal section. Currently, there are 32 faculty members in the thermal section, making this one of the strongest thermal science programs in the country. The faculty members, students and staff work in cutting-edge research ranging from fundamentals to applied science and technology and socially relevant projects. Both experimental and computational techniques, including machine learning applications, are used to solve some grand challenges in fluid flow and heat transfer, including bio-heat transfer. Hence, it is inevitable that faculty members of the thermal section are part of several potential centers for excellence in these areas. We now showcase some of these research activities. Acoustic camera in anechoic chamber. This facility is an acoustic camera used for sound source localization and characterization. Faculty members are working on combustion technology with the goal of achieving cleaner and more efficient combustion. Here we present a patented, flexible, low-temperature combustion engine that is fuel-flexible. The engine can be operated in high-efficiency and clean combustion modes such as HCCI, PCCI and RCCI, which results in near-zero oxides of nitrogen and particulates with high thermal efficiency than conventional diesel combustion. A state-of-the-art methanol engine test rig is shown now that is used to develop a hot surface ignition HSI 100% methanol engine by modifying an inline three-cylinder turbocharged common rail compression ignition engine. This flex fuel engine can work with diesel or methanol and other alcohol blends. This engine will power a mini truck in collaboration with the industry and with funding from DST. Another fuel flexible, gaseous fueled variable compression ratio spark ignition research engine setup is also developed by the faculty members. This is suitable to operate with desired gaseous fuel composition including biomethane, biogas, green ammonia, green hydrogen in spark ignition mode with arrangements to vary air fuel ratio, spark timing and compression ratio. In yet another work, a packed bed gasifier is developed. This technology is a self-sustaining, single-stage process for activated carbon synthesis. The process is developed in a bottom-lit packed bed system, operated in a counter-current configuration. The system is less expensive in terms of both operational and capital costs. Moreover, it is a cleaner alternative to the existing technology. Some of the faculty members focus on heat transfer and improved cooling technology. For example, a multi-ejector transcritical CO2 refrigeration system is designed with a cooling capacity of 33 kilowatts for supermarket cooling application to maintain three different evaporation temperature levels. Minus 28 degrees Celsius for freezing, minus 6 degrees Celsius for refrigeration and plus 6 degrees Celsius for air conditioning. With the development of e-vehicles, the cooling of batteries is becoming very important. Also, with the rapid advances in heterogeneous integration of electronic devices, advanced cooling techniques are required. Towards that goal, cooling systems based on single phase and phase change systems have been developed. The flat plate pulsating heat pipe is one such device in which thermally induced liquid vapor phase change process is used for cooling electronic devices and battery systems. The in-house experimental facility can test the performance of a flat plate pulsating heat pipe with various working fluids using temperature measurements and high-speed flow visualization. 
Another critical application of heat transfer lies in developing technologies suitable to meet the cooling requirement of high-powered, smaller electronic components. In this facility, electronic cooling is achieved with a phase-change material-based heat sink, which takes advantage of the high latent heat. To mimic an electronic chip, nichrome wire is wound around a mica sheet and thermocouples are attached to measure the temperatures of the different locations in the test setup. An Arduino UNO board has been used to produce cyclic heat loads. This experimental setup is suitable for both cyclic and constant heat loads. Faculty members are also involved in very low temperature applications. For example, a low temperature Joule Thompson cryo cooler refrigerator is being developed for satellite application which can meet a heat load of 1 watt at 90 to 100 K. Many faculty members are working on different aspects of multiphase, interfacial flows and flows involving phase change. Metal powders have many applications in existing industries and can revolutionize the manufacturing industry through the 3D printing of components. These metal powders can be produced by atomizing molten metal with the help of high-speed gas jets. Gas atomization plant in the Mechanical Engineering Department of IIT Madras is developed through an imprint project of Government of India with Sandvik Asia Private Limited as the industrial partner. From atomizing molten material, we now move on to atomizing liquids for gas turbine applications. Slinger Atomizer, developed at the Mechanical Engineering Department of IIT Madras, is a rotary atomizer that may find its application in defense applications such as missiles. Here we conduct systematic experiments in a high-speed Slinger test rig, one of its kind in the country, to investigate atomization and spray characteristics in Slinger atomizers with the help of advanced diagnostics tools such as front light illumination technique backlight shadow imaging and interferometric laser imaging for droplet sizing ILIDS and volumetric laser induced fluorescence VLIF. The Slinger rig is housed at NCCRD IIT Madras. Another vital category of multi-phase flow involving phase change is the formation of vapor bubbles in liquids through cavitation. Cavitation bubbles upon collapse cause material damage. Hydropower plants in India suffer from turbine blade erosion simultaneously due to cavitation and impingement of silt particles. Although standalone silt erosion or cavitation erosion tests are available, testing the material for individual effects is insufficient. With funding from the Ministry of Power, this novel combined cavitation and silt erosion facility developed at IIT Madras can bring out a material's erosion resistance through an accelerated test of combined cavitation and silt erosion. Not just the flows with phase change, interfacial phenomena are researched by our faculty. For example, sloshing is the movement of liquid inside the moving container. In this video of the sloshing facility, a sinusoidal oscillation is given to a partially filled container using a linear magnetic motor. This setup is also used to analyze interfacial instability between two fluid systems. In many applications, thin films may be formed and determining form thickness is essential. An air-coupled ultrasonic transducer is a non-intrusive technique developed to measure falling film thickness and interface temperature of the flow over any shaped bluff body with or without surface modification. Controlling surface tension helps control the interface and spreading of a liquid on a surface. Hence, engineering the wettability of metallic surfaces and the investigation of water collection efficiency during atmospheric water vapor condensation are some of the activities carried out in the condensation and surface engineering facility. Some faculty members are active in the areas of immediate societal importance, ranging from affordable and improved healthcare technologies and sustainable energy generation. The research at the Micro Nano Biofluidics Unit is focused on the fundamentals of micro nanofluidics leading to applications in soft matter and bioengineering. 
The group has been trying to understand micro and nanoscale fluidic phenomena in the area of acoustofluidics, which involves fluid flows coupled with ultrasound fields for the improved manipulation of particles, cells, droplets and fluid interfaces. The fundamental understanding in the field has led to the development of lab on chip technologies. A device comprising a blood plasma separation module, mixing and incubation module, and optical detection module is being developed in collaboration with local industry and a hospital for in-situ and real-time monitoring of gas transmitters in blood for early diagnosis of sepsis. Similar work in the lab has also led to the development of lab on chip technology for the rapid detection of dengue in blood. Currently the lab focuses on developing three-dimensional tumor models towards improved cancer diagnosis and prognosis. In another work, the team is focusing on understanding the behavior of human and bovine sperm cells and developing technologies directly relevant to society. IIT Madras is proud to work in the renewable and sustainable energy generation fields. In one such research effort, advanced high concentrating solar thermal technology using CPV's square parabolic dish for solar power generation and process heating industries are developed by the faculty members of the department. Not only experiments, but faculty members of the thermal section are also involved in cutting-edge simulation to predict fluid flow and heat transfer characteristics in research areas ranging from fundamentals to applied technologies. For example, this animation shows the evolution of Y-component vorticity in turbulent Taylor Green vortex flow at Reynolds number equal to 100. The contours are plotted for values of 0.5 and minus 0.5 using red and blue colors respectively. Vortex stretching, breakdown and decay phenomena can be observed in the animation. In an attempt to understand flow past bluff body better, numerical simulation has also been performed on the flow past two spheres placed in a line at a Reynolds number RE300. The size of the upstream sphere and the spacing between the spheres are varied to examine their effect on wake characteristics. In the video, the size of the upstream sphere is 1.5 times the diameter of the downstream sphere, whereas the spacing is equal to three downstream sphere diameters. Faculty members use several specialized software for niche research areas. Converge is a CFD analyzing software for IC engine applications. Unlike other software, this single software can produce meshing, set up cases and post-processing in one program. This software produces a modified cut cell Cartesian grid and offers adaptive mesh refinement during runtime at every time step. Another attractive feature is the option to perform in-situ post-processing in which the data is automatically post-processed while the simulation runs. Because of these advantages, Converge is used to simulate the processes of HCCI, GDI and IC engines using various alternate fuels to analyze their performance, combustion and emission characteristics under various operating conditions.